In this video, we're going to look at purchasing content from the iTunes Store. For the first example, I'm going to purchase a song. So let's click on Double Fantasy by John Lennon and Yoko Ono. And I think I'm going to buy the first song. But before I do, I'm going to preview the song by clicking here. We took the time, no one's to blame. I know time flies so quickly. Oh, that sounds nice. Okay, so if we move over to the right here, you'll see a few options where the price tag is $1.29. Now, to simply buy the song, all I have to do is click on this, and a dialog box will come up and say, are you sure you want to buy and download, just like starting over, 2010 Remix? Your account will be debited for this purchase, and your purchase will begin to download immediately. So I'm going to click on Buy, and I'll agree to the new iTunes Store Terms and Conditions, and click on Continue. Now once I've done this, you'll see it starts to download. And if there's any other purchases in the queue that have not been downloaded, they'll be downloaded as well. As noted at the top where it says Downloading 3 Items. We can also go to the left column and click on Downloads where you can see what's being downloaded and just above that there's a Purchased section where items that are purchased from the store are automatically added to that playlist. And there you can see our song, just like starting over, John Lennon. Let's go back to the store and I'll click on the Home button to take us back out to the main page this time we'll go into the Glee soundtrack, Season 2. The second song here, Only the Good Die Young, let's look at a few other options besides buy. By clicking on this little arrow, you can see that we can gift this song. Now what that means is we can use the balance on our iTunes account and purchase this song for somebody else. And this might be a nice thing to do for a birthday present or some other occasion. Just below that is a wish list. So if this is something that we wish to buy down the road, we can queue it by clicking on Add to Wish List. And now when we go back to the main section of the store, we can look at My Wish List by clicking on it, and you can see all of the content that we've queued for later purchase. Now let's go back and have a look at some movies. By clicking at the top under Movies, it'll take us to our Movies section, and let's click on the Karate Kid. Besides purchasing content, we can also rent content using our iTunes Store account. So this will allow the movie to download and we have a certain amount of time to watch the movie and then the movie will automatically delete off our computers or our iPhones or iPods or iPads and Apple TV. Next, we're going to explore the podcast section in iTunes.